One of the most frequent questions that I get concerns chemotherapy. It usually starts out something like, my friend is on chemotherapy for breast cancer, et cetera, et cetera. How much Kangen water should she drink? Well, first of all, she could drink all she wants because there's no magic or mystery. Kangen water is good for any human condition because it is the best water you can drink, just parenthetically. During chemo, many uh, doctors advise that uh, antioxidants be discontinued. Well, it turns out that there's a total myth and that is completely wrong. The uh, antioxidants do not adversely affect chemotherapy. And it is absolutely uh, shown by a number of studies that uh, no harmful effects occur if you're on chemo and if you are uh, taking antioxidants, whether that be in the form of Congan water or any other antioxidants. The NIH did uh, three separate focus groups on compliance with doctor's orders, and they found that in uh, study groups where people were asked to discontinue their antioxidants, whether they be in the form of pills or whatever, nutritional supplements, only 20% complied. So it's a total waste of time to ask them to do it in the first place. And also, a review published in May of 2007 by Cancer Treatment Reviews, 855 studies were reviewed, and not one single one showed an adverse effect of antioxidants while on chemo. And so basically that chapter is closed. If uh, prospective uh, clients and so on ask you about that, you can say unequivocally antioxidants are good whether you're on chemo or not. Now what about benefits of Congan water in patients who are undergoing chemotherapy? Are there any? Well, let me uh, say that they are actually quite huge, and I do that based on personal experience. Uh, Dr. David Carpenter and I have corresponded, and we were friends, and he has the same experience, that the side effects that patients get with chemo, nausea, vomiting, loose bowels, etc., are much lessened in those that faithfully drink their Congan water. And I think I know the reason why, because when you get dehydrated, all these symptoms get worse. When you get dehydrated, you may become acidotic and all the symptoms get worse. And you know very well that this water produces an alkaline effect in the body and that it can actually reverse metabolic acidosis. This has been proven without any doubt in laboratory studies on mammal animals that it were rendered profoundly acidotic and the acidosis was reversed virtually instantly by the administration of Kangen water. So the benefit in chemotherapy of drinking Kangen water is huge. <clears throat> now what about radiation therapy? Uh, it is being used widely throughout the country for certain types of breast cancer. It's used for other different uh, tumors, and of course, it produces side effects, and the side effects are usually burns. They're worse in fair-skinned people. There's nothing uh, uh, more uh, you know, heart-wrenching to see. We get some fair-skinned uh, Celtic person, you know, snow-white skin, and the burns are very, very nasty. The ingestion of the Kangen water helps healing and the topical administration of 11.5 pH water, say you take a towel or something like that, wet it very well, lay it onto the skin for 15 minutes twice a day, especially right after the radiation treatment, and it is an amazing effect that this has on ameliorating these types of symptoms, and I highly recommend it. And by the way, there's, you don't need FDA approval for that. Water has been used to treat burns since antiquity. We know it puts out the fire. Another question. I have a prospect who has cancer. Will the water help? 
Well, first of all, there is no scientific data that we can quote that the water would cure. However, because the product promotes wellness, because the product gives us good hydration, and good hydration makes people feel better, people with cancer should drink all they possibly can because it will make them feel better about themselves and also improve their sense of well-being, uh, which is, as far as I'm concerned, the best thing that you can do when you have a miserable disease. Now, here's another question, and uh, this has been battered around a number of times and asked in different forms, which is the following. Can you become too alkaline by drinking too much Kangen water? And the answer is absolutely no way. Our bodies, our bodies have a very, very efficient mechanism of dealing with acid. And there are two pathways, one through the lungs and the other through the... Now, <clears throat> organ transplants. That's a frequent question. Uh, my prospect doesn't want to drink the water because she had a kidney transplant and will think uh, it will interfere with her anti-rejection medicine. Well, let me say this. I don't know of any medicine that Kangen water interferes with. I think that's a total myth. In fact, I have now met three heart transplant patients who are in the Kangen water family and multiple people with kidney transplants. And there is absolutely no way in which they have been adversely affected complex water. So, organ transplants, Kangen water, totally compatible. And then there is a, a list, I just tell you a quick list of conditions that I've been asked about and have been asked to advise on how much and what pH water to drink. Uh, these are by no means all of them, but lung, liver, and bone cancer, leukemia, melanoma, brain tumors, Hodgkin's disease, pancreatic cancer, colon cancer, stomach cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer, throat cancer, breast cancer, bladder cancer, prostate cancer, and myeloma and others. And the answer is all the same for all of them. The water is good to hydrate people who are chronically dehydrated, which most cancer patients are. It does not cure the cancer, but it definitely can't hurt and it might just make you feel better.